Everybody, it's Tyler here at the 2022 Indiana Robotics Invitational. Checking in team number 67, the hot team. Uh, this year, uh, district or, uh, district winners and also at championships, uh, finalists in their division as well too. Hot team every single year. It's been building fantastic robots for that. Uh, definitely one of my lock picks here at IRI and looking fantastic as well too. Help me speak more about this robot, by the way, I have Grant, Will, Sierra, and Evan. And we're gonna be following through to take a look at some of the really unique features of 67. Uh, this amazing intake they have, the ball elevator. Uh, we'll go into that climber as well too. Uh, and the shooter all coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their We Energy STEM Center, built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. So let's start out uh, with that cargo journey going through. Your team went with a really cool double intake. I'd love to hear more about, of course, not just what it is, but how did you get to this point of choosing this design as well? So we decided with the double intake since we were doing the swerve system, and we felt it would just be like easy to maneuver and stuff, sure. and having that two-sided would just allow us to pick up balls better. Of course, we have kind of chosen our favorite like intake, so we kind of do favor one over the other. Um, but in terms of the intake design, we kind of started off with like some basic stuff, figuring out like what type of wheels we want to do and things. And so we started with maybe Velcro and like trying to pick up the balls because they were fabric. And then our initial idea was a three-bar intake, but that didn't really work because when it would come down, it would kind of bounce on the ball and it wouldn't fully suck the ball in. So we went into a four bar that would kind of reach out and wouldn't bounce as much, and so it would pull the ball in better. So there's kind of a closer up look of it. Uh, we went with the acrylic lining there so the balls wouldn't pop out because we were having some issues with when the intakes are down, when the ball gets sucked in, it would sometimes pop out. So these stop the balls from popping out. Um, also, we put some more down here so the balls are moving smoother and things like that. Overall, yeah, it took probably about three to four iterations, but it's, it's been working really good. Let's continue uh, on your robot. We're going to go to the ball evader, as uh, you all call it as well, too. So love to hear more about it as we get into the uh, inside of this. Uh, definitely a lot of cool belting, and love to hear about uh, trying to get your angles right, how that whole, whole process works for your team. So the first step of designing our ball evader is we needed to design it for the double intakes. We had to be able to design it so balls can come in from both sides and they won't get jammed. So we designed these rollers that spin the balls into the center onto the, the middle where we have these two uh, surgical tubing that centers the ball and is sent up through the ball elevator. Our ball elevator is designed in two stages to allow us to stage two balls. First one, the upper stage doesn't really have a real name, we just call it the upper stage. It will, it will start, stop a ball here and wait for the shooter to be activated where it, send, where it then sends it. We have a sensor right here that senses when our ball is there and it will stop the upper stage once it's there. We also have a very similar process for the lower stage. The sensor right here will stop the ball right here. Thing is, we don't actually stop our floor in case we get a third ball and accidentally need to get it out. Our ball, our ball elevator has gone through about three iterations. The first one didn't have any centering processes, so we struggled filtering the balls into the robot. And our second one, we actually removed a gate at the top here that would stop balls right here. Because with the way the program worked, it didn't need it, so it was just excess weight. When uh, you did, uh, uh, when we talked about the different intake iterations, did that impact how the ball elevator worked or anything like that at all? Not a whole lot, surprisingly. The balls followed about the same path, and in sure. fact, with the new intakes, we didn't have to change anything about the ball elevator, but it made it better because the way the intakes fold in, it centers the ball easier. 
Perfect. Well, well, appreciate that. Let's go to Sierra and talk about your uh, shooter on your robot as well, too. I'd uh, love to just hear, trying to get, you know, of course, from here into here. Uh, how did you uh, figure out trying to get uh, all your different shot areas right? Because Hot is able to just really shoot from all over the field. I love uh, seeing that as well. So walk me through kind of that process and, and the evolution of it throughout the season, too. Yeah, when we were first trying to come up with what we wanted our shooter to do, um, we wanted to pick positions on the field in which we were going to be able to shoot from. So the first position that we knew was crucial was doing around the hangar along with their protected shot because that allowed us to get away from our defenders while having a free shot open. Another thing we found really helpful for our team was the wall shot. Um, it was a lot harder for teams to push us off our course when we were shooting. So in our actual shooter ourselves, um, we have this, which powers the shooter to sh obviously shoot the ball. And we found that we were having a lot of backspin issues. And as we know with the game this year, it's really easy for our game pieces to um, slide out of the top area. So we actually added a, another uh, set of wheels that spin the, in the opposite direction to um, combat our backspin. And it's really been keeping almost all of our shots inside the top portion of um, the game. When did you add that? Was that mid-season or? Um, actually, that was just before our Milford competition. It didn't initially have power, and then um, we powered it almost directly after Milford in our second week. Let's start to wrap up with your robot. We'll go to your climber. Evan's going to talk more about that. And uh, I, I think one of the great things about Hada we've seen is just how smooth your climber is. Uh, just very little like sway to it. You just, I mean, it just looks like butter going up all the whole way. And I, that's really cool. So I'd love to hear about uh, the design of it. And of course, uh, let's show up the climber sequence as well, too, and talk more about that. Yeah, so our climber is a, a windmill climber instead of just like a two bar grab and, and move over. Uh, so we latch on and then these spin. Uh, one of the things about it is it's all pneumatics. And, uh, except for the, the spinning sequence, but to pop it up, it's pneumatics. Um, we thought it, we liked this. We saw an animation of it, and uh, one of the mentors thought it was really cool. So they were like, "We should we should try that instead of." Uh, and then, what on seven iterations after the first try, we finally got this one, and it seems to work pretty well. Um, the smoothness originally we with the software side, we were using Motion Magic to try and get a good angle at, smoothly. But uh, when it overshot, it, it, it did it really, really badly. So it would go violently swinging. So we just went to spinning it until it got to an angle and stopping. Sure. And that ended up being so much smoother. And yeah, nicer. no kidding, it, right? It's, it ended up being like anywhere from 10 to 5 seconds faster. So now we're down to sub 10 seconds sometimes. So Let's talk about your climber automation uh, sequence and uh, just kind of narrate through each stage of the way of what's happening for us. Yeah, so the, the first thing that our climber has to do, because of the way that the intakes are blocking it from moving. We actually have to spin as it lifts up so that we don't interact with other parts of the, of the intake. And then we go to our latch spot. And uh, and that, that we latch onto the bar and then we spin up to mid. And then you guys want to hold it out. Uh, the, when, it, when it goes, it actually goes up and then it spins back a little bit so that we get the angle so that it releases the right the right latch. You guys want to latch it again? And, and it goes just hangs vertical. Well, 67 Hot Team, really appreciate you taking the time to tell us more about this uh, incredible machine you built here. Every single year we see great machines coming out of Hot. Uh, I can't wait to see, of course, how you do in future years as well, too. And uh, good luck here at IRI. Thanks a lot for taking the time. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their We Energy STEM Center built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.